Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Isabella Vitovich and I play Via. Much better. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jacob Tromboy and I play Augie. Good morning, Jacob. Um, it's Christian from Germany. My first question is, I mean, you are, you spend a lot of time in makeup and then you mm -hmm. had to forget about the makeup and play. How difficult was that or wasn't it difficult at all? It was challenging, but I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Hey Jacob, uh, hi. Um, I know that you spent some time with uh, kids who share the same condition as Augie. Uh, can, can you talk about that, meeting them and talking to them and getting to know them? Yeah. Well, to prepare for the role, my parents and I, we, we, were, re we were learning about facial differences online and we found a group of um, kids in Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. Um, so I reached out to them and I asked if they could send me any letters of experiences or tips or anything they just wanted me to know. Later I got back all these letters and I had this binder and I put all them in this binder and I had with me every I had it with me every day on set and I would read it before I did some emotional scenes. And also before I filmed Wonder, I went to the CCA retreat. Um, that's where Families affected by facial differences get together and just have a good time. So they invited our family, and we got to go to Florida, and I made lots of friends, and it was very fun. Uh, we have a question right here. Hi, um, I'm Nana from Interfilm. Um, so I'm 15, and I'm really interested in the fact that both of your characters go through really big milestones at school. <laughs> What experience did you guys bring to the film of coping with big life transitions? Well, um, I'm also in high school currently. I'm a junior. And uh, my freshman year was my most difficult year in school. And Via also is entering high school in the movie. That's where we find her. And I actually had very, very similar experiences as she did. I think that a lot of high schoolers find that they lose friends in, in school when they enter and they go through their own personal transformations and so I found that was, uh, that was very relatable for me. I was able to channel into that. And for me, well, I, when I was playing Augie, I was actually still in elementary school, wasn't in middle school like the character. But now I'm in grade six, so, and I'm from Canada, so now I'm just in middle school. Um, so I guess, yeah, I'm meeting new friends and stuff like that. Uh, we have a question back here. Back I'm Thomas from German Radio ARD. Um, question to both of you, uh, what are your favorite films, despite from Wonder? Uh, the question's your favorite films, despite, uh, besides Wonder. That I've been in? <laughs> Why that? Okay. Um. Well, I have to think about this. One of the favorite one. Well, first of all, Wonder is my the favorite movie I've ever been in because Augie is like, who? What's a what's a better character to play than Augie? I mean, V is pretty good, but <laughs> <laughs> he's brave and he's confident and he's true to himself. So I think that Augie, playing Augie is one of the best characters I've ever played. But other than that, I did a movie, which isn't out yet. I'm in the new, new Predator movie, the alien one. Um, that one was really fun because I got to do lots of stunts, and I like to do stunts. But what was your favorite film to watch, just to watch, not to produce? Watch. Um, I, everyone knows I like Star Wars, but other than that, I like the Karate Kid movies. Yeah. That's a good choice. Uh, do you have a favorite film? Uh, yeah, I do. I love uh, Guillermo del Toro. I'm a big fan, so I love Pan's Labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have a question right back here. Yes, to both Isabella and Jacob. I was wondering whether you'd read the book before um, the script of Wonder was offered to you and whether you remember the experience or how um, you know, your reaction to the book. 
possibly more to Isabella, I think, in terms of age. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was reading the book while I was auditioning for the film, so I wasn't familiar with it prior, but I found that it was it was interesting having that experience as I was sort of becoming Via, and I had, I think, five or six auditions, um, and at that time I was reading it, and it was really helpful for me to be reading her thought process at the same time that I was creating her. Uh, we have a question right here. So I'm JD, and I just wanted to ask, I, well, I love science, and tell us more about the science pod. About the, the what, pardon me? Um, tell us more about the science pod. The science part of the movie? Um, science pod. The science, science pod. pod. Which is... Oh, the, the actual pod that's made in the movie. Oh, yeah. That one was, like, cool. <laughs> I can't remember what they did because I th I'm pretty sure it was dry ice. Um, but I like science, too. Science is one of my favorite subjects. Um, we have a question right here. Hi. Uh, you're both absolutely fantastic in the movie, and you've got some of the best on-screen parents that anyone could ever hope for. <laughs> yep. um, could each of you tell us your favorite part about working with Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson? My favorite part about working with Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson... Well, first of all, Owen Wilson is the funniest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah, he can turn any scene funny if he wants it to. And he knows when it's time to, like, you know, if it's not the time to make the scene funny, and he'll know when it's when it's time to make the scene funny. Um, so that that's what's really fun about Owen, and he's also really nice and a really good actor. And Julia Roberts is amazing. I I learned so much from her just by watching her act. I saw how focused she is, and how intact she is with her character. I also, this is the most important thing, I also saw how kind she is to cast and crew, and it teaches me that no matter how famous you are, you can always respect everyone with kindness. Yeah, I mean, I second all of that. Um, but in addition, I just, I just think that uh, Julia and Owen were really wonderful because they from day one made us feel very comfortable. It felt like we were playing a family. Uh, they made the environment really warm and pleasant for us, so coming to film was just really joyous, and they displayed kindness towards everybody, which is inspiring, because we're working on a movie where that's the message. Uh, we have a question right here. And I have a question for both of you. What was your favorite moment of the film? It could be anything, but, and why? Do you mean during filming? Do, yeah, well, do, the film, the, the best, the, your favorite part of the film. Uh -huh. What you like the most about you, any part, special part of the film. Well, you all have seen the movie, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now I know it's not a spoiler. But my favorite part is when Chewbacca is there. <laughs> yeah. And they actually had the real guy from Disney. So I was walking next to... Chewbacca. That was like, I was like, ah, I didn't even have words. <laughs> um, my favorite part was the last scene, the graduation scene, because I think, well, I think it's the most emotional part of the film. And not, not only watching it, but filming it was really fun because it was, I think it took us like two or three days, or two, two days to film it. And yeah. almost every cast member was on set. So the energy was really high and we were all together in one place, and it was a really special, really special experience. And actually, um, RJ was there. Yes, she made RJ a cameo, was there. Didn't it? She made a cameo, which the, the author, RJ Palacio, which was also incredibly special. And um, during one of the scenes, we wanted mm -hmm. to trick her, and instead of Mr. Tushman saying, Anki, come mm -hmm. get the award, he said, RJ, come get the award. So that was pretty cool. Which we have on camera, and she didn't know that was going to happen. So yeah. she got to come up and, and get an award from Mandy Patinkin. It's pretty cool. Uh, we have a question right here. Um, hi, I'm Arabella, and I have a question for both of you. What was the funniest behind-the-scenes moment? 
That's really hard to keep track of. <laughs> but one of the funniest parts that happened on set, well, most of them have to do with Owen, and some of them have to do with just us kids fooling around. But one time, Owen, during the scene, he stubbed his toe, and he fell to the ground, which was pretty funny. I don't know why I laughed at him getting hurt, but it was, <laughs> it was funny. I mean, any any scene there. with Owen, yeah, that was funny because um, he, he persevered. We finished the scene, but he was in pain. Um, it's funny now. We can laugh. Um, but any scene with Owen, honestly, he just improvises, so you don't know what you're going to get, which is always a blast. Hi, it's Valeria for Spain. Um, Jacob, you became very, your face has been very recognizable after the success of Room. And of course, it's a very different reason of how, why Oogie is, is looked at. I wonder how d does it make you feel that people, even in school, people recognize you, look at your face, want to take pictures with you. Um, how do you cope with that since that happened? Um, pardon me? Sorry. Like, like people recognizing you and seeing your face, of course, it's different than what Oogie goes through. But um, at the same time, people ask you for pictures. People recognize you even in school. So I wonder, I guess, from Room, there's been a huge change in your life. Yeah, since Room, I ha it, there's def you're right. There definitely has been a big change in my life. I've been traveling a lot more. I've been getting more roles, which is good because I love to act, and I think it's so fun. So I, yeah, I lots of things have changed from from Room that are that have just made me happy. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey. hey. 